What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another V-Ray for SketchUp tutorial for you. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about how to import your V-Ray proxies um, into a new model. So last week we talked about using proxies as replacements for the high polygon realistic models um, within SketchUp so that SketchUp can run faster and not try to render all of that geometry. This week I wanna talk about how to import those into new models. So uh, let's go ahead and just jump into it. So to start off, 3D warehouse model credit for this model goes to DACA Design, who has a great collection of render-ready models on their page in the 3D warehouse. This model in particular is the wireframe chair model. I've linked to their page as well as to this model in the notes down below so that you can download this and follow along. So to start off, I haven't really tweaked a whole lot in this model, I've just kind of brought it in. And so this is just a new model file is all that it is. So if I do an interactive render, for example, this is going to pop up an interactive render of this chair. And as you can see, this chair is very realistic. It's modeled really well. Um, so there's not a whole lot we need to do with it, but the problem with this chair model is when you bring it in, if you go up to your model information, you have a whole bunch of different edges and faces. This is something like a 14 megabyte file, so it's pretty large, um, but it's also very realistic. And so we talked last week about how we can replace heavy geometry like this using proxies. And I will link to that video up above, but in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna export this model as a proxy so that we can have it in here, but it also won't have all the geometry slowing our model down. So we're gonna select it, we're going to go to the V-Ray Objects menu, and you're going to click on the option for Export Proxy. And when you do that, it's going to ask you for a file path, and then, like we talked about in the last video, the number of faces and also the preview type. So start off by setting your location, and then hitting Save. That's going to let you set your location where you're going to save this file. And in this case, you can pick your preview type. I'm going to leave it on refined clustering, but I'm going to bring it down to something like 2,500 faces. So something a lot smaller. And then make sure this button for replace object with proxy is turned on, and then go ahead and click the export button. And so what that's going to do, if you remember, is that's going to replace this with a much more lightweight proxy. So if I was to go into my model information, you can see how it has a lot less edges and faces than it did before. So this I think has about a tenth of what was in there before. So this makes your file a lot smaller and a lot more manageable so SketchUp doesn't have to render all of those different edges. And so now, if you remember, if you run an interactive render, this chair is gonna look the same. It's just gonna load that proxy file from outside your model rather than inside. So you can see how V-Ray is rendering this and it looks realistic even though you have a lightweight proxy over here. And so now that we've exported our proxy, what I want to do before we open it up in another model is I want to go in and I want to look at my asset editor for a second. And specifically, I want to go into the materials section of our asset editor. And so what you're going to notice if you scroll down is there's going to be a multi-material group in your material list now that's going to contain all of the different materials that are contained within your proxy file. And so this happens whenever you create your proxy within V-Ray. So basically what this is, it's kind of like a package of different materials in here. So you'll notice if you click on it, it shows you a list of different materials. So in this case, it shows the seat, the legs, and the wool, which are the three materials contained in this file. And you can see that those materials are also in here as individual objects. But in this case, this is the group that gets created when you create your proxy. Well, what we want to do is we want to save a copy of this because we're going to need to open it up later. And so click on your multi-component or your multi-material file and just go down and click the save button and save that in the same file as the um, save that in the same file as the proxy you created. And so now we're not going to worry about that for just a second. We're going to go over and we're going to bring this into our other file. And so in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my V-Ray Studio file that we've created in a previous video. All right, and if you remember, the V-Ray Studio is a file that we created that basically has lighting already set up so we can preview the way that things are going to look within SketchUp. So if I was to do an interactive render right now, you can see how this basically just renders the background is all that it does. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna import that proxy file into this 
model. And so in order to do that, you're gonna go back into your V-Ray objects and you're gonna click on the import proxy or VR scene option. You're gonna click this button, then you're gonna go down and you're gonna select the object that you exported. So in this case, we exported this V-Ray chair object. And so I'm just gonna set this in here and I'm gonna use the move tool in SketchUp and click on one of these red crosses and rotate this. And so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna run a quick test render of this chair. And what you're gonna notice when you do this is this chair gets brought in, but it doesn't have the right materials in here. So if I zoom in, you'll notice that the chair itself is rendering with just some kind of random colors in here rather than the colors we had before. And that's because when your proxy got exported out of the other model, your materials didn't get saved. And so as you can see, the materials aren't in here. So what we wanna do is we wanna import that V-Ray material file that we exported from our other model. So in this case, we're gonna stop our interactive render. We're gonna click in here and we're gonna go into our asset editor. So in our new file, you'll note that whenever you imported this proxy, this created a group in here with the different submaterials, so very much like the group that was created when we exported our proxy on the other page. And so what we want to do is we want to go in and we want to open that VR map file that we just saved. So we're going to click on this little folder for import VR map file, and we're going to go find the file that we just exported. And you can go ahead and double click to bring this in. And so you can see what this does is this brings in both your multi-material group as well as the individual textures that were contained in that as well. And so in this case, I've been having some issues with this. The way this is supposed to work, you're supposed to be able to right click on this and go down and just click use as replacement. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to use this group within our V-Ray chair material group. So the group that gets created when we import our proxy, and you're supposed to be able to just right click and click the button for replace. For some reason, my V-Ray is not liking that. I'm not really sure why, and I haven't been able to find any information on this. So in this case, that's not really working for me. So I'm just gonna do this manually. And like I said, if anyone knows why this is, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'd love to have your help on that. But in this case, it's not that hard to come in here and switch these out manually and so basically these get brought in in the same order so this is my imported file and you'll note you have your wire seat your wire chair legs and then your wool and then these are in the same order so in this case all I have to do is click the drop down and go down and find my wire seat for the second one I'm gonna find my wire chair legs and for my third one I'm gonna find my wool I'm just gonna double click check that I did that right and so now what I've done is I've basically replaced those placeholder materials that V-Ray created when it uh, brought in my proxy with actual materials. And so now you can get rid of these sub-materials if you want because they're not really there for anything anymore. They're not really associated with anything. But now, since we've replaced all of our materials in our multi-material group, we can go back and we can rerun our interactive render. And what you're going to notice is when you rerun your interactive render, it's now running with the actual materials that you should have in here. And so in this case, all I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out just a bit and just kind of set this up as a view that I want. And so you can see how I was able to bring this proxy file into my model and remap the materials in a file other than the one where you originally created the proxy. So now you could go in and you could create a more detailed render or really do whatever you want with this. So that's where I'm going to end this video. I do apologize the replace material function was not working. I'm not really sure why that wasn't working. Uh, so try it on your computer and let me know if that works. Um, but uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Is this helpful to you? I just love having that rendering conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.